Hello, this is John Chan, a fellow Rotarian, uh, who's been asked to do a quick demo of Trello for you today. Trello is an amazing web platform to help you and your club manage projects in a more organized way, smoothing out your communication, and to track your project's progress. Now, I'm not affiliated with Trello in any way. I do not have an IT background, and you don't need to have one to use it. I'm just a regular use, uh, user of Trello for my personal work and Rotary Matters, which means if I can use it, so can you. Let's jump into it. As you can see on the screen right here, Trello is basically a digital whiteboard that can be accessed by any web browser or as a phone app, meaning that you can use any device to access it. On this whiteboard, you add cards or what I consider as digital post-it notes. You know, those yellow colored sticky notes you might stick on a fridge or a, on a document or on the edge of a computer screen. So let's go ahead to do that. Now for explanation purposes, let's some, put some context into everything. Let's pretend that your club right now is brainstorming about a fundraiser to sell food. So in the beginning, what we need to do is add a column where you're going to stick all the cards to. So let's call this brainstorming, right? And you're going to add these cards. So let's say you're going to add one about the details about your first meeting. And um, I'll just do a few more for explanation purposes, right? And so in the first meeting, let's open up this card, right? This sticky note. So it's going to be a very useful. You can add a lot of things on there. So first of all, this text box, you can, you know, write anything you want. So maybe where you have the location, attendees, uh, length, whatever you want, right? So you can really fill this up. Okay. And it's going to stay on here. Now, a really useful tool I like to use is the checklist. So let's say that you in the meeting were talking about possible food that you can you can do for this fundraiser. So maybe someone suggested hamburgers, sandwiches, hot dogs. Okay, and then you can add, add another one for maybe drinks, uh, pop, beer, water, juice, right? And then with this checklist, what's beautiful is you can cross it off um, and also uncross it just to track your progress. So it can be like a shopping list or just a list of whatever has been talked about, crossed off the list. A very handy tool is this thing on the right side. It's called attachment. So you can add files to it. So you can drag. You won't see on this right side of the screen, but I'm going to drag a picture on here from my desktop, you know, a picture of a burger, let's say, right? So um, this can be files, this can be pictures. So it's very handy if you want to add things on here to share. You don't have to use another Dropbox tool or you don't have to go and message people around, email attachments. You can start dragging things here or do the old school way, just open it up and then add things from your computer, um, from a menu, right? So this is attachments. Okay, another thing is you can just simply put a link. Let's say you were talking about um, Safeway where you can shop for all of this, right? So you can put a link on here and whoever clicks it will get redirected to a new tab to um, this URL. So um, dates is another pretty useful tool on the right side here. So you can add a deadline. Let's say this meeting, you want to get back to each other within uh, two weeks down the road. So you're setting a due date and then um, you can add reminders. All right. I'm just going to keep it simple. So it's going to show up here and then outside of the card um, in the main board, you're going to see the date there as well. Okay. And um, obviously uh, with other advanced settings, you can make sure to have reminders and colors and whatnot uh, as it is nearing that deadline, okay? And then another handy tool is labels. So you can really color code things. So let's say this was green for whatever reason. I don't know what green means to you. It can be maybe for people like say, um, you know, maybe certain people on your team um, that is supposed to look at things in the green only, or maybe something in the second meeting. I don't know. I'm going to put it over here. Maybe yellow means it's urgent. Red means it's late. So you can really change it up to your liking.
Okay, so as you can see, you can keep adding cards downward, uh, but what's very useful too is going rightwards. Okay, so let's say that uh, after brainstorming, um, you know, you can have confirmed ideas in the in the next column, and you can make one that is uh, work in progress, first step, work in progress, second step, and then let's say done, right? So as you're having these meetings and making these cards or whatever it is you wanna do, you can actually drag them, right? So it's confirmed that you're gonna have this, you're gonna have these burgers and whatnot. And then maybe um, you can add things like shopping, marketing, location, budget, all right? And then let's say, you know, down the road, these things are getting completed. You can drag them along, right? And finally getting to the done part. So you're going right words. So really this becomes a project management tool where you can track uh, progress using these columns. So how you want to use this is really up to you. Uh, you can be very creative with how you want to design that. Um, and how to share it is also up to you too. So um, obviously you can uh, just use this privately and then do as you like, but you can also share that maybe in a meeting, you pop it up on a screen uh, or live in person on a projector, um, or you can actually add people. So you can go to the shared button on the top right and you can add people by their email address or sometimes you can make this public as well. So you just make a link to this and then um, it will, uh, Trello will make a link for you and then uh, you can copy the link and share it around. So anyone who types in the URL uh, will get access and they'll be, able, they'll be able to see that, okay? So that's the access of the entire board. But for the card itself, let's say marketing, you can actually add specific people on here. So you open up the card on the top right, you can see members. So you can add whoever has been assigned, whoever has access to this, you can assign them to it. So their face is gonna pop up as you see, and this is maybe a good way to assign people or to you know just organize things, you know, who's taking care of these things, okay? So you can add people to that. And then uh, finally comments. So let's say, um, you know, I wanna say, you know, well done, um, maybe, uh, and people can add it, uh, excuse me, edit it, and you can add another comment, um, revision number one, whatever it is, right? So you can have conversations going on like this. Um, and so this is uh, very handy for uh, just the progress and tracking of things. So that's really it, the basic functions of Trello. Um, so this is just a free account. And I don't think you really need to use the paid account unless if you want more advanced features, such as the automation of everything and maybe linking Trello to other platforms like Google Drive and Zapier. And that's, you know, for more advanced people. So, you know, all in all, really the benefits you can see are, are pretty obvious. You know, first big thing you're gonna realize is that it will reduce a lot of the unnecessary email strings that gets uh, used a lot. Uh, you know, people are emailing attachments and then they're replying and then they're replying all. And then, you know, there's these email dialogues that go on forever, right? So doing this is going to eliminate a lot of that. It's going to be real time. Um, it's also going to help you track the flow. It's going to, uh, and, and the completion of everything. And um, yeah, just overall the progress, everything, it's a lot cleaner. So, you know, go give it a try.